Hello and welcome back Super Mums. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at four ways that you can reduce social anxiety so you can really be yourself. So when we're struggling with social anxiety, one of the, the big things is we start like digging up like the worst case scenarios and we think the world is gonna end. And it really can feel like that. Like the entirety of the solar system rests on us dealing with this one situation correctly or us doing something a certain way, like, which is just crazy. But in the heat of the moment, it's quite tricky to deal with. So I have three steps that I take myself through is what is the actual, actual worst that could happen? Like, really, what is it when I'm saying like, the world is gonna end, well, really? Is the world actually gonna end if I'm like, walking into a room with new mums and none of them like me? Or if I'm dropping the kid off to school and I like, trip over in the playground? Like, what is the actual worst that's gonna happen? Chances are the world ending is not one of those things. So, just by thinking about that, that can sometimes like curb the social anxiety enough for you to get on and do it and realize it's not that bad at all. If that's not enough, then and you're like, well, actually, yeah, the thing is quite bad. Like nobody liking me at this group is quite important to me. So what is the actual likelihood of nobody liking you? So that's the second step. So what's, what's actually gonna happen? And what is the likelihood of that ha happening? Because if you went to a room of 40 people and you've got like 30 seconds to make an impression, chances are they're not gonna not like you. All of them, all of them, every single one in there is not gonna like you. It is fairly slim. So there you go. You made yourself feel a little bit better. You might be able to plow on with your day now. If not, then you move on to step number three. Step number three is what would you do if that did happen? So you walk into a new play group and none of them like you. Take some cakes next time. I find that's a general winner with most mums, a little bit stereotypical. Um, but that would be a way that you can deal with it, right? If everybody hates me at this meeting, next time I come in, I'll bring some cake. And therefore you've already got a solution if the problem, if the worst case scenario happens, you've already got a solution. So the world is not ending. It's a very rare chance that the world is gonna end, if it is gonna end, and you're gonna bring cupcakes next time. Like, there's your solution. That's my first way. So what is actually the worst that could happen? How likely is it that that will happen? And what will you do if that does happen? There you go, step one. My second way, may sound a little crazy. And I will be honest, when I first had this recommended to me, I was like, whoa, that is too simple to be true. I think you're lying. I think I'm gonna look a bit like an idiot doing it. But wow, does it work? And that is power posing. There are lots of like videos that will go into all the like actual power posing. Mine is this one, like, I don't know if you can see, it's like hands on the hips, Nice wide stance so I feel stable because I can shake when I'm nervous, like. <laughs> and this kind of supports everything. My arms are supported so they can't sh they shake. My body's supported because my legs are wide um, and I get like a good strong stance. Sometimes I like might jut a hip a little bit to make it a bit more me because I'm a bit more of a hip jutter than a standard straighter but that like strong power pose. Or if I'm sat down, I will put my arm up on one of the chairs. So I'm creating like this bigger demeanor and it's not even something you necessarily need to do in the situation. You do it before you go into the situation and it just fills you with like rah and yeah. And it's, it's magical. It's literally magical is probably the kind of only way I can sum it up. But it really works. Like you'll see me do it in videos and things. I'll stand like this because it makes me feel confident. It's a power pose for a reason. It makes me feel powerful. And that makes me feel like I can relax into being myself because the power's all mine. It's all yours, baby. So my third way is to use mindfulness. I am pretty early on in my mindfulness journey. So I would recommend you go and look for another expert on that 
like the amazing expert we had on in one of the earlier videos in this series. It was Anna Parker Naples from the Inspiring Mummy Club, the award-winning Inspiring Mummy Club. Um, if you didn't check that out, it'll be in the playlist down below. I had a major fangirl moment because I love the Inspiring Mummy Club. Inspiring Mummy Club podcast. And I was so excited when she said she would come on and speak with us. So you can hear all about her story in that video. We also go on to talk about like, the sort of imposter syndrome and the comparison issue and why we never feel good enough as mothers. So it was a really amazing interview. But she does some amazing tools for mindfulness that can really help you combat some of the issues of social anxiety. I would really, really recommend checking her out, checking out what's going on, I would really recommend checking her out. As you can see, I'm like, I get quite excited about, about an inspiring mummy club. I think she's doing amazing things and she would be like my go-to for any kind of mindfulness queries. But it does, even like a tiny bit can have such a difference on how you feel about yourself and the world you're living in. So if you're on a bit of journey of self-discovery, then mindfulness is gonna need to be a part of that at some point. When all else fails, I head for tip number four. I want to set a good example for my small. I don't want her to see mummy going into the situations like nervous and anxious. So sometimes I put on, right, who do I want my small to see face? And I go out and do that. And it's not about being fake. I'm still being authentic to myself but I'm not being the like slightly scared, rather intimidated by the situation version of myself. I'm being the fabulous, wonderful version of myself that I would be if I was dancing around my kitchen in my pants with her. Like, why shouldn't she see that you can, maybe not dance around in your pants in public, but if that's what she's game for, then why not? But I want her to see that you can be yourself wherever, you shouldn't be intimidated by situations, and you should always feel confident being yourself. So of course, if I put that like into my head whenever like I'm like oh I don't want to do this or I don't want to go somewhere that's a biggie because quite often when I don't want to go somewhere it's one of two things it might be a work networking related thing because I find those particularly intimidating and I'm like I want to set this amazing example of this this mummy that's going after what she wants and like working hard at her business and building up this amazing brand that's helping all these women and a big part of that is that I need to go to these events so I like to put my sort of hat on and think when my daughter's old enough to go mummy how's it going and are you enjoying it I want to be honest with her and went yes I went in and I spoke to lots of people and I really enjoyed it and then there's the other side, is when I'm taking her to things. And this can be anything from like new baby groups to when I like take her in when she first starts school and seeing how she interacts with her friends and meeting her friends' mums and dads and aunties and everything. It's like I want to set this good example for her so that when she goes into new situations, she is also like, well, I can just be myself because mummy does. I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any other ones, please let us know down in the comments below. It's really helpful for me and all the other mums watching. And it's nice to get other people's perspectives on things as well. I really look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember, being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.